This is Allie McLean, Kinsman. The day after the baby is killed by a gunshot wound to the chest, you still have to ride behind death's blood red breath. You still have to picture the baby in the car, trying to grab the bullet as if it were a glossy sweet thing. You do not want to imagine the pitch of the baby's wail. You do not want to see the women walking with bright white save-a-lot bags wrapped around their wrist. You do not want to see the man at the RTA bus stop swatting at a bee. You do not want to see anyone trying to hurt anything. You do not want to face the red lights, the teddy bear memorials, the trash, the raggedy strollers, the slow, slow walk of the low-down folks. You do not want to ride by the hand-painted casino trip sign stapled high on a pole like a goal. You do not want to hear the radio scroll through tragedy and woe. You hear the beginning of the word organ, and you know the next stories will be about more shootings. You think about the baby killed by the bullet. You would have loved my mother. She invented DIY, always had a project on her shoulders. When she bought her first house, we scraped wallpaper off walls with whatever she had sharp, butter knives and razor blades. She was something wild and could save you from blues, fools, and drunks. Once she bought my girl a rib tip dinner and told her to chew slow so she could love again. Fold. I allow everything to distract me, even the six chairs positioned like empty bus stops. Two egg white, two red orange, two egg white. That's my papa, the little boy says, claiming his grandfather as if the laundry woman had threatened to steal him like a dryer does socks. A wide woman nestles in one of the egg white chairs and begins folding her load of dark towels. I scrutinize her. She ain't got nothing on my mother. My mother folded towels like they had somewhere special to be. I have yet to master her, but somehow, without lesson, I've learned to bend and fold. At a pool hall in Cleveland, the tar blooder has arrived. Nine ball it is. She is feeling lucky and slams down one cocky $20 bill on the left rail. Her opponent takes a deep breath. The jukebox croons. The lookers are Newport cool. The tar blooder could care less about the 20, the rail, the breath, the croon. She hardly notices the gin and smoking men trying to memorize her game. One is wearing a herringbone beret. One looks from behind aviator glasses and another in a black leather jacket. On the break, the plastic balls split, the new ports drop, ash falls, the twenty shivers, the rails dance to the croon, that's a bad girl. Order of Service Today is Mama Z's funeral. The sun is shining. Someone should have worn yellow. The son is in a suit, the daughter in a size zero dress. Her hose has a run. The reverend is late. No one notices. Someone else has to lead the invocation, and the guests have no idea. Everything is moving along. The organ weeps. The drums beat. Prayers mumble. The alto sax player is up next. He is to solo a Peebo song. But since this was a sudden death, there wasn't enough time to learn it. Death bullies its way through memory and order. Black Anthropologists Tell her to forget universities. Tell her knowledge is in Cleveland, back in the hoods of heather gray hoodies that black boys wear, Back in Nike shoeboxes, void of Jordans, full of Polaroids. Tell her to study the faces, the swoosh in the eyes, 
and find meaning, do the work, document, say, remember, open memory, open Cleveland, where there is study and street intel hangs at marathon gas pumps, forget universities and turnpikes and I-90, bony roads that detach her from home, from memory, tell her to rem remember Shannon, Joyce, Calvin, and Gail, tell her we need her home to get the stories, keep the stories, write the stories, and study the stories, to save the mothers, to help the fathers, to stop the murders. The Daily Walk The couple walks kinsmen every morning. The sun is often bright and the birds are always bored on thin black wires. The husband brings his camera and tries to capture every moving thing. The pit bull tied to a pole, the children running off the RTA, the man sweeping steps. That's my shot, the husband says, hoping to capture the children. The wife asks, did you get it? No, he replies. They continue on. The street is filled with glass. The wife counts the empty bottles of liquor. Sixteen, she shouts. Someone needs to clean this street up. The husband is still set on capturing something exciting. He sees a young boy riding his bike. Papa Willie, the husband yells out to the boy. The boy brings his bike up to the air until his front tire kisses the sun. After school, a fancy white woman wearing pearls and a cardigan talks solutions to gun violence. She does not have an answer, only offers hope in a worksheet. She tells the after school girls to picture their ideal community. Draw what it looks like, she says. One girl, let's call her Mimi, wants golden and chocolate streets. Mimi is a dreamer, so she draws big, fat $100 bills and labels them as grass. Two citizens are pictured riding unicycles with red safety flags that read, Free Food for All. When Mimi is done, the woman stares and says, That's wishful thinking. Hood Stroll B&M's burns barbecue behind a chain link fence. Brandy J waits in line for a slab. Parking lot pimps blast Kendrick. The night is young. My hood is reckless and I am alive. Brothers ride four-wheelers without helmets. A pothole swallows me then spits me out. The city is a slow blink. The city is a funky stare where citizens need guns. Brothers die all over this place. Yellow police tape is a sign of time. This time, 11 women. This time, a baby. This time, a friend. This time, a mother. And ain't no meeting at a coffee shop to discuss death. Ain't no bike rack to lock a tire to. My hood is fat and empty and got wild hair. Ashy babies are the gold.